Okay, hey everyone. I uh, hope you're enjoying your, um, how would I put it, your asynchronous Monday. It was a bit of a surprise for us as well. So I thought what we would do is catch up on our uh, scratch work. Sorry, I'm just uh, clearing out some of the the recording boxes that are on here. You can't see it, but it just it just it just makes it too busy. Okay, so what we're doing is I'm giving you a brief tutorial on uh, using the if then block, and I'm going to show you a bunch of different options, and then I want you to take it from there. Um, so this is going to be your uh, what you come up with is going to be for basically for your uh, coding mark in math because uh, it is now part of the curriculum as of this year so and I know uh, a few of you <coughs> have already done this and uh, I looked at them and they look pretty good but what I want you to do is because you have the day is I want you to really enhance it and really make things interesting okay and same thing I still want you to try to use three characters okay and if you can make a bit of a story out of it and you can change backgrounds you can uh, make people walk you can do they can talk they can do all different things so I'm going to show you just a bunch of different options on what you can use the if then block for okay so let's do some basic stuff first so I'm going to just start with one character and uh, we'll just do some my screen might get a little busy but then you know I'll delete things because you'll have a recording of it anyway so here we go um, one simple thing you can do is you can make your character say something using the if then so let's start off I'm gonna do something a little different to begin I'm gonna use um, the when the space bar is clicked so I can control it easier when the game starts normally we do when the flag is clicked but I want it so that I don't have to use the mouse uh, up here I can use the mouse for something else so when I click the space bar that's when my game is gonna start okay not my game but my program so let's say I want my character to say hello at a specific time so let's get the if then block out and now these are all the pieces that fit into the um, if then block okay all of these are here they fit into this little space um, this uh, odd six-sided space okay this odd uh, <coughs> hexagon and you can play with these if you want and what the one we're going to use first I'm actually going to leave these up here okay for now because we may actually try to use them and I may ramble a bit in this tutorial okay because uh, it might be doing a little bit of experimenting there's a few things that I haven't used for a long time um, especially the colors but uh, so let's try one uh, a simple one first with the mouse pointer okay mouse pointer just means you know the mouse pointer the mouse and it also has the options of edge which I think is the edge of a picture so if I put this one into there and say so if the mouse is touching let's say my character if the mouse is touching okay then I want this guy to say hello so I go into looks and I want him to say hello for a couple of seconds all right so if I do this <clears throat> and now let's see if it works so if I press my spacebar and I go over there nothing's happening okay so let's try that again so now if I put my mouse over the character and then press my spacebar now it works okay because it's happening right away that's why so it's only really taking two seconds for this program to happen so I have to actually start the program I have to hit the space bar right where it says up here press space bar to start the whole program I have to have my mouse pointer on the cat and press the space bar and then it will say hello okay so the way to get around that so you can do that all the time is as we talked before is to put your forever loop in okay and the way the forever loop works is you put 
the if then information inside the forever loop. So basically what it's doing is when you hit the space bar now, I better press stop. When you hit the space bar now, um, it is always looking for <coughs> you to touch your mouse to the character. Okay, so no matter what, when you start, the mouse can be anywhere. It doesn't have to be on here when you start the program. So if I press the space bar, so it's lit up. So now it's, it's forever looping this around until I actually press stop. So I can go over to the mouse, oh, or the, put my mouse on the cat, and it says hello for two seconds. All right, so I can keep doing that forever and ever and ever and ever. I can do it like this. So I can actually have my characters talking to each other. All right, I can say hello. And I can add another simple character. Uh, let's just say we're going to add Abby. Right? And so here's a neat thing you can do as well. <clears throat> I want to do this, but I want to do it for this character, this Abby person. Right? So I can actually uh, duplicate this. Right? And if I click on it, and drag it and put my mouse see see how Abby's is lit up if I do that okay then I'll get rid of this extra one if I go to Abby there it is <clears throat> okay so now this time though I want Abby to say goodbye all right so now I'm in Abby's code screen right so now I have <clears throat> the cat Keep calling it a mouse. The cat says hello for two seconds, and then Abby says goodbye for two seconds, right? And this is forever, right? Because I have the forever loop on the outside and I have the if then on the inside, so it's always searching for me to do that with the mice or the mouse. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to start it again. So both of them are the same. When you press the space bar, the whole thing starts. Press the space bar, this one starts, and when you press the space bar, Abby's program starts as well. So the whole thing starts at the same time, which is ideally what you want. All right, so if I press my space bar, here we go. I press mouse, or the, uh, the cat, and hello, and I press Abby, and goodbye. Okay, same thing. Hello, and goodbye. Right, and you can do that forever. Forever, 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 right? You can always do that. So let's uh, <laughs> let's just keep these characters. And I'm going to stop it. I'm going to make Abby just a little smaller. So I'm going to the size. And I think we've done this before. 80, I don't know, maybe that's the right size. Oh, that's the cat. Uh, I don't want the cat to be that small. Yeah, actually, maybe I do. And I want Abby to be a little smaller. I think she's a little too tall for this cartoon. There we go. Okay, so there's there's two characters I have. Uh, now, other things you can do is obviously do things when you press a different key. Okay, so right now I'm on the cat, and maybe what I want the cat to do is uh, walk one way and then walk the other way. Okay, so when I, maybe when I press the R key, I want it to walk right. And when I press the L key, I want it to walk left, right? But I want it, but I want it, I want to be able to do that anytime I want, okay? But I also want it to start in a certain spot. So I'm going to leave this up here because I still want it to be able to say hello and goodbye. So I'm going to start something new. I'm actually going to put these down here now, and move them around. So I am on the cat, okay? So let's work on the cat. So let's bring our um, if then, right? And I'm going to keep my space bar the same. I'm going to keep it all the same so that no matter what I'm doing, it, the whole program is going to start on the space bar. Okay, so everything's going to start at the same time. So I'm going to move it over. So now I want the cat, when I click on the, uh, well, let's use the arrow keys. It doesn't matter which one you use. Uh, the right arrow key, I want it to go this direction. Okay, I want to face this direction and go this direction. So then, I want to use this one. Okay, which has all the arrows 
uh, the letter keys you can use any letter key you want you can use number keys as well okay so there's all kinds of things you can do in this one so we're just going to use the right arrow and we're going to put it in here because it fits right these are the only blocks to fit in there so if the right arrow key is pressed then I want my cat to go to the right okay my right so I want it to walk, I don't know, maybe 30 steps, move, I want it to move 30 steps, 30, okay. Now here's the question, if I start this, will it, will it walk right away, right? Or do I have to have the arrow pre key pressed when I start it? So let's press start, uh, see it's not. It, 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 it happened so fast that it just, it's just not doing it right now, right? So maybe, let's see, if I press my arrow key, keep the arrow key pressed down, and then press my spacebar, ah, there it worked. Did you see that? So I don't want that to happen, though, right? I wanted, I wanted to be able to do it anytime I want. So here, again, is the forever loop, and quite often you'll see the if-then and the forever loop together, okay? So I want to use my forever loop because I want this to happen all the time. I want to be able to do this whenever I want, right? Stop. Now if I press start, right? Now all this is happening. There's the hello, remember? There's the goodbye. And I want to make my cat move to the right 30 steps. So I press the arrow key. There it goes. And that's pretty quick. That's okay. So you can always slow that down a little bit. We won't get into that right now. But now I also want it to be able to come back, right? When I press the maybe the left arrow key. Okay. So same thing. If I press uh, my left arrow key, so these are all in the sensing, right? <clears throat> if I press my left arrow key. All right, let's go down and choose a left arrow key. And then I want it to move back this way. So I want it to move negative 30 steps, right? So let's do that. Motion, move, negative 30, negative 30 steps, right? That's the easiest way to do that, okay? Uh, and I want it to be inside our forever loop. I don't need to make a new one. I don't need to make a new start, right? I can just add it to this and keep it in the same forever loop, right? So if I put it in there, it'll go in there as well. So it'll stay inside this whole thing. We don't have to make a new, um, a new forever loop. We can just add to it, okay? So let's see how this works, but we have a problem. And you may have you may have seen it. Uh, well, no, actually we don't. Let's let's see what happens. And I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna press the space bar. Okay. Now I want it to go back, and it will go back, right? Because it's reading this all the time right now, right? Because we can still do the hello, and we can still do the goodbye, right? And if I press my back arrow key, it goes back, right? And the forward, forward, back, back forward, forward, back, back. So it still does it, right? And it's pretty, it's reasonably accurate, but you see how <clears throat> it's a little glitchy because see how it's gone by um, this person? So one thing you want to try to always do if you can is to make sure it's always starting in the same position that it, um, at the beginning of your program, right? Sorry, I switched characters here. There we go. So we want, maybe we want this cat to start in the right spot. So I can't remember, what does it say first? It says, uh, uh, the cat says hello. Yes, that cat says hello. So maybe what we need to do is start with the cat facing Abby, right? I think so, because then it says hello, and then Abby says goodbye, and the cat walks away, maybe, I guess. So this, this isn't part of the if-then loop, but this is the part that will kind of help it all make sense. So if we go into the cat, let's see what kind of costumes the cat has. Uh, it has a, uh, oh, it's got a running costume, 
right? So you can actually make it run, but we won't do that. I want to make a costume where I want to flip it the other way, okay? And there could be, there's different ways to do this. And one thing we could do is we could look at the code and see if it will rotate for us. Oh, let's get rid of that. I don't want that. Stop it. Okay, here we go. If I, uh, let's see, <clears throat> we can make it turn, and I think it is, uh, help me out here, where is it? Uh, motion, uh, bear with me for a second. Um, which one is it? Uh, point direction rotation. Uh, point direction and set rotation. Here we go. So if you go into motion, there is something called set rotation. <clears throat> and sometimes a character will do this, sometimes it won't. It'll turn left and right and don't rotate and all around. So in this case, we can almost say <clears throat> that um, we want it to turn <clears throat> when it goes the other way. So let's uh, let's let's <clears throat> start it facing this this person right here. Okay. So we want it at the beginning to. No, nope, maybe we don't. If we press the right arrow key, if we press the left arrow key, uh, it needs to walk. Ah, you know what? I'm not going to bother with that. <clears throat> Let's just uh, make it come back. So we press the left arrow key. We want it to rotate left, right. So I'm assuming it's going to turn the other way because right now it's facing right. It's going to face left. Okay, if we add that. So let's try it. See if it works. Press the space key. If we press the right key, it goes that way. Left key, no, nope, didn't turn. <clears throat> so we need to um, we need to get rid of that one. Put this back. So the way you do that is, it's really quite simple. You just go like this in a costume, right? And you duplicate it, right? And go to the first one, and I'm going to call this right, and I'm going to call the second one left. We just rename it, okay? And so now it's facing the right. So what I do is I just, I can do it two ways. I can flip it horizontally like this, which means it'll flip that way. So if I go like this, there, it just flips it over, okay? I can also flip it vertically, but I don't want it walking on its head, right? So now this is going left. <clears throat> and we go back to our code. So right now, they're facing each other. And this is perfect. This is the way I want it to start, okay? I want it to start this way. And then I want it to turn right, so I have to change the costume. So when um, I press the right arrow key, it's going to change the costume right because our other costume is the right and left so i want it to go right so <clears throat> change costume switch costume here we go uh, so if i go right press right arrow key switch costume to right okay and if i want the left arrow key <clears throat> I want to switch the costume to left. Well, I don't know. Let's see if it works. Okay, and this is all part of it. You just play around a lot. And so let's see. If I press the space bar, okay. Uh, if I press the right arrow key, ah, there, see, turn. I press the left arrow key. There. So now you can have some fun. You can go, oh, hello. And then Abby says, oh, goodbye. Oh, okay, goodbye. Then I'm leaving. See ya. I'm coming back. Hey, hello. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Right? And then you can add, you can add um, uh, another thing here as well. <clears throat> um, 
in terms of what it would say. So, but then you would do instead of the mouse pointer, you might do a uh, a letter uh, to say, okay, when I press A, the mouse is gonna or the cat's gonna say whatever. If if I press A, then the cat will say, oh, I forgot something, right? And that's just as simple as <clears throat> doing the same thing, right? You um, you can add it down to here, right? You can say if, I can put another if then, I can just add one in there. <clears throat> if I press, uh, no, not the mouse pointer. If I press, oh, I got my other glasses on, it's hard to see. So if I press the, um, <clears throat> let's say I'm going to do the F key. Like forgot. If I press the letter F, the cat is going to say, "Oh, oh, I forgot something for two seconds." Okay. So, and you can you control all this. You, you nothing happens unless you press a key, right? So when I press the start key, nothing happens. It's just forever going through these loops until you do something okay and then if I press the F key it's like oh I forgot something so now I need to go back and say hello and Abby says goodbye and you're like oh okay whatever blah 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 no, wait oh hello no I want to press the F key oh I forgot something All right so there you go that's so that's how you uh, kind of do that and you can also uh, use the color, right? So if you uh, if you add, <clears throat> let's say a uh, if you add, so I'm not sure if you just saw how I did that. Let me show you how I did that. So um, I have, I want to, sorry, so I want to paint, okay, I want to paint a character, so I just press paint, and all of a sudden, it just adds a new character, okay, so I am going to press a circle, there's a circle, it's pretty big, I'm going to make it smaller, there, that's pretty small. So let's uh, put it there. And so this is the color, <clears throat> right? Uh, let's see if I remember how to do this. So if I go to the code, right? Now I have another character. So if I say with this, you know, I'm just thinking um, sorry so if I do if touching um, so this is the color costumes um, This is it. I think the I think it's the um, the eyedropper. Okay, so if I go into here and I do code, I think it's the eyedropper down there. When you press the eyedropper, it changes it. Oh wait, no, that's it right there. So let me stop that. Let me escape. I don't want to do that now. Okay, so let's go backwards. So here we go. So this is how it works. So I just drew my picture and I'm stopping. I drew my picture and uh, I just picked whatever color, a random color. So touching color, you press the touching color and you go to the eyedropper like this because I want to choose the color. And it highlights all this. So what am I picking? I'm picking this. That's the color right there. So when it's touching that color, I want it to maybe 
I don't know. Turn around, right? Or do a flip or something, something kind of goofy. All right, if uh, it does that, then let's see, what can we make it do? Maybe we can make it turn 360 degrees. How's that sound? Turn 360 degrees and maybe scream or yell, ah, ah it's a blue blob for two seconds. All right, so it's going to turn. Right now it says three. 15 degrees let's say it's going to turn 360 degrees okay when we press <clears throat> uh, when it touches all right if the sprite is touching that it's going to do that well i hope we'll see maybe not maybe it won't uh, i don't know let's let's find out so if we do this uh let's get rid of these guys okay and we'll move this one down Move this one up okay so and we do know one thing that we have to have a forever loop in here now I, I didn't have to make this a separate one I did just because it's a little more complicated just so we can see how it works All right and I have a feeling that we need to put a forever loop on this as well because it will always need to be looking for it to touch the green or sorry the blue blob or whatever color that might be um, so I need a forever loop and then this if then is going to go in that forever loop so uh, right now if I uh, press my space bar to start all right I'll go backwards a little bit go this way ah it's a blue blob all right it says that for two seconds you see how I did that and it's oh it's still on there so even so it's still touching it so it once you you have to leave it uh in order for it to stop saying that oh it's a blue blob so we leave it and it's, it says it for two seconds all right so leave it one two it's off okay if you stay there it'll stay it'll keep saying that sort of thing so that's another way to use the if then so there's a few different ways uh in terms of um mouse down so that means when your mouse is clicked right that's what mouse down means <clears throat> and the other one i really have not used much uh, is if color if two colors are touching okay that's one i've i've rarely rarely ever used you can play with it if you want but this is kind of your basic uh how to use the if then blocks and you can have lots of fun with it and the, th the thing about this is don't get frustrated with it just keep playing with uh, touching different things and moving different things and moving different directions and all you ever have to remember is the computer or the program will do whatever you tell it to do and you can keep adding to all these if thens you can add like 50 if thens um, together or if you want to do separate ones because they do different things now you can start a brand new one and you can still do it when the space bar is pressed uh, if something if you're pressing the letter x then something happens right and it won't happen until you press that letter x so so it's really not that hard you can even do things here where it says ask what your name is and you can click this and wait for an answer okay and it will um it will write the answer down okay you can do that as well so the idea is play with it and have some fun and make it make it make it really busy make it make it very interesting okay uh and yeah it's uh we want you to you do use cs first for it okay so that's easier for me to check um how you're doing and and what your uh what your program looks like okay so i hope you uh learned a little bit in terms of the if then blocks and uh hope you have fun making your story i can't wait to see what it looks like thanks